Okay, yeah, uh, the year is 1712, and in the previous episode we fought a battle against uh, a very small Russian detachment over here, uh, and we are keeping on um, to our plan here, and we're going for Kiev. Um, yeah, we've had a uh, strategic discussion in the comments, asked Saint and me, so uh, yeah, and uh, he wanted me to take out all of Russia, and then we agreed that we're going for Poland. Uh, ooh, Poland has taken Königsberg from the Prussians. The Prussians are now really under strain here. I'm they might not survive for long so yeah we are going for Poland actually mm. but first the Russians at least we have Maltebusby with his army up here oh I haven't repaired that now have I um, let's do that um, Malte with his army. I I am though concerned about the public order here. What if I move Malte and his boys out? Well he has a lot of cavalry so we might leave... Let's see now. We'll mark them all and we'll leave a couple cavalry regiments here and yeah he has already moved this turn hasn't he so I can't move him out now no, can I <clears throat> I just wanted to see how the public order will be there okay we'll attack those next turn I hope or they'll attack us and we'll have a lovely battle that's going to actually be a harder battle than it looks we only have three regiments kind of bad regiments with us some militia and a Zaporozhian Cossack unit and we are up against I think these are yeah these are better quality aren't they oh yeah oh yeah these are these are better than us but uh, that'll be fun because they've been uh, causing trouble behind our front line here for a long time now. Now I'm building a new army in Riga and yeah yeah I'm marching them out here. So I'm going to continue the march here and um, <coughs> see what we have here. Kungliga Majestats Trabanta, heavy cavalry. Um, yeah, we were going to check what kind of cavalry regiments this mod adds. Let's uh, see what the recruitment says about that. Oh yeah. Gula Husaran. Gula Husarana. That's supposed to be Husararna. Um, that's supposed to be Blo, Blo Husarana. I'm not really sure what these are. Jemtlands Regimente. Regiment, a, a common regiment of horse there and heavy cavalry. Yeah, so not too much variation in the uh, cavalry department here. But yeah, they're going to be fun anyway. Uh, we can build something in Stockholm, can't we? Uh, great arsenal. Do we want that? Yeah, we do. 2000. That's a bargain. This army in Copenhagen, I'd actually like to move it to the uh, oh, Great Arsenal there as well. Might be excellent. Kurland has a navy. Because the plan is when we attack Poland, this army up here is going to occupy Kurland. And uh, we are going to swarm in with the Rehnschild from Kiev. And this new Baltic army here, uh, which needs a general at some point. We can also build something in here. Let's continue doing that while we're at it. Um, yeah, I could do the 25,000. I could do the walls. 
settlement fortifications, or do I want them on re Riga? 24,000 and might be worth it though. <coughs> but no, we're going to eradicate Kurland really fast, really quick. This army, I would like to march it up to Norway because you never know what the British might do. And then I'd just like to ship it over to Scotland. Right now they seem to be entertained by France though, so um, yeah, they're at war with France and Spain and the Huron uh, natives and Poland. So Britain is going to be really pleased with us in the future. Uh, yeah, Poland needs to die here. Uh, and Austria, are you at war with Poland? Who is at war with Poland? Because Poland is now expanding really worryingly here. They are kind of green towards us, but uh, that's going to change. Poland is at war with Austria. And Württemberg and Prussia, half the world actually, and Britain. Yeah, that that's the logical next war. So, we'll just continue on, take... Oh, we can already put it under siege, can we? Really big army in there. <coughs> That's going to be a fun, fun battle when they come out. Um, don't have too much artillery, but this will be a fun, fun battle. Finally. Finally a real battle again. Uh, can't continue marching you, Malte. But I can expand that. I can also expand this farm. Farms are cheap to expand. And anything else? Can build something in here. Magistrate. Yeah, that's what I want. I changed that in the previous episode here, so. Uh, what else? Nothing more, I think going to continue recruiting. Um, Kalmar Regimente there. Some cavalry, some of these... Ah, I can't recruit the Blue Hussars here and those boys because I need to do that in... Uh, I want Grenadiers though. I want these guys with the cool caps. Look at them. Really cool. Good unit. We are going to recruit those. More grenadiers. The Swedish grenadier. And let's continue on here. Dar regimentet. Cheap, good enough. One of each. Keep recruiting, build an army here. I could possibly even make a general out of this one already. So now we have Hartwig Wiese. Okay. That's a cool name though. Three stars already. Young. He's going to be. He's going to be good. He's going to be really, really good. He's going to be the the guy who defeats Poland. Now. In here, we're still exempting you from tax. We cannot change that, can we? Possibly. But I'd like to send reinforcements west because that is going to be a big one. Um. Actually, that's going to be, in the end turn, they're going to come out. What kind of a shape are they? <coughs> I can't see. But they are really dangerous, these guys. Really dangerous. That's going to be a big, big battle. Big, cool battle. Oh, something in here. Governor's Palace. I don't know if I want one there this point in time can't attack okay nothing else to do but go to the next turn I believe here we have done everything we can actually the Navy up here can now return south because we won't be needing it against England we will be using it in the Baltic Sea if the Poles even have a navy. But I know the Kurland 
people there they have this so we're going to beat the crap out of that and possibly ship this army into Königsberg uh, yeah let's go to the next turn and see what happens might be exciting because that's going to be a big battle when it happens they're going to pour out of there and Renshaw stands there with his elite army ready to go going to be fun 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 actually he's in the area of Poltava now Carlos the second um, trade agreement they want to even pay us for it let's accept that trade with Spain a bit Poland is soon Russia's turn after this one yeah here we are we are 50 50 actually um, they are also getting some reinforcements but this is going to be a fun one Ooh, our, our cavalry is kind of down but yeah I'm going to fight this on the battle map of course because this is going to be so much fun yeah we are outnumbered again and Renshield our absolutely best general is up against some new guy Foma Oleneva okay but he has 4,000 men there and we well we have a bit well we have the half of his force this is going to be so much fun. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, here we are on the battlefield. I have already deployed. We are going to do the usual stuff with our cavalry. Get in behind his lines, take out his artillery. And I have deployed my own artillery here on this field. I thought it was the best location uh, up against this church ruin building so this is going to be a really cool battle with this in the center here and yeah long infantry lines here of course um, supporting our left inside these woods here um, I also had a very underpowered cavalry unit here which I'm not sending with the rest of the cavalry it can be here and uh, possibly cause some flanking damage uh, we have a really lovely battlefield today and uh, a lovely weather situation. These guys, uh, um, if the enemy gets close, these guys will be firing into the artillery. So I need to move the artillery back if the enemy gets close and move these guys forward. I'm, sh I'm sure I will forget that, so uh, that'll be disaster. But nonetheless, here's the general hiding among the trees here as to not get shot by their superior artillery because they seem to be targeting generals. I don't think that's very gentlemanly of the enemy. Um, I haven't grouped them, have I? No. So this is one. Uh, the the, uh, the um, cavalry. Let's see now. we can push through here yeah we can so that's what we're going to do we are going to start the cavalry attack really as soon as possible here now where is their artillery because that's what I need to go for where is it? Can't, see. can't see their guns oh here it is in the middle of the stack here. We're going to take those out and then we're going to go for the artillery. Right at the back of them. Here comes our cavalry. At least we have the numbers. Oh yes. We're going to attack that one really as soon as possible here. We're probably going to detach two and then we're going to try and get into his back there and when the artillery has been taken out we try to um, I think this failed but uh, we're going to continue pushing it here on you go boys, on you go, we need to take those guns out and silence them 
what a lovely sight. What a lovely sight. Look at all these guys in here. What an exciting battle this is going to be. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Continue on. These guys are turning around. Are we taking damage from their superior artillery? I can't see. Oh yes, we are. A lot of fallen guys here. We are responding, but uh, we're really outgunned. Wonder why I group my forces when I still keep selecting them like this. Go here. We're going to silence those guns now. We have, yeah, this has been a success. We're deep behind enemy lines. I'm going to detach these guys again to follow these. while these guys take up that bloody artillery. Go. This is how it needs to be done and their infantry is just keeping on. <coughs> Maybe we can even take out that general at some point here. What's that? Oh yeah. We got them good. We got them good. Enemy general killed. Let's pull on back here. Oh, I love operating with cavalry. Just love it. These guys are firing at us. We are now causing a lot of damage at the back of the mirror. Okay. Might want to limber you guys. Get you guys up instead here. I didn't forget it. We have to stop pressing on. Should have moved them up. We might be able to do something with this. Very, very small detachment of cavalry here. It's going to be kind of dangerous to do these things now with our cavalry here because. Uh, but uh, we'll try, we'll try, we'll strike them where it hurts the most in the back. Oh, look at the gun smoke! Look at the smoke! Guns go blazing. We can back the artillery there. Keep our general behind. Don't let them outflank us. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's a good bleeding battle in it. It's a good, good battle. Good to strike these. Come on, riders of Sweden. Hurry up. Hurry up. You two. These two regiments will take on those. The rest of the guys will take on that. Hope they don't have time to turn around. Oh yeah, they did. Now they're maneuvering about. These guys, are they turning? Oh yeah, they are. God, I didn't get the charge. Just charge on in there, cause a bit of damage, then we'll go. We are high quality. High quality troops here. Send these guys in here now. Okay, cavalry has been successful. Must have been bloody, but uh, they have broken these enemy units. And here comes more. We need to get out of here like today. So let's go. 
Let's go. We've done our job there. Don't let them fire. Oh yes. In you go. Charge. Break their right flank. Excellent. I think we have this one. I think we have it. Let's get the cavalry in order again. I think we have this battle. I think we have it. Let's push these guys on now. The enemy... Oh, come on. Pathfinding. guys here now I need to pull them back further please yeah, well, one's blinking now because <sighs> because I let them fire into my lines there still not like this let me pull them no I'm going to some dragoons are there pursuing and I kinda like that because that means they can't return so I'm going to leave them at it These guys have now broken the second regiment. Um, but we're doing really well. Really, really well. Our line is not breaking at all. Oh god, oh god, I'm sending them past here. Oh god, no. Oh, that was easy enough. Then go, boys. Have fun. Have fun. Chase them away. Don't want to see them anymore. They're not welcome here. Yeah, I think we have this one secured now. It should be in the pocket. Okay, we have Regiment coming on here. We could actually. Have our guys stop pressing forward now? Some forward couple of regiments in support here. Try to get around these guys here. Yeah, I could also support my uh, my right flank over there because uh, they seem to be kind of stubborn here. Battle at the church room. I could get a good screenshot. Battle at the Ukrainian church room. Ah, go. They are blinking. Oh! The first shot in, didn't they? Come on boys, I will need some support here now, and they have actually been trying to outflank us really well there, so I am going to pull the boys back a bit. That was smart of them, um, caused a lot of damage there, they did. So I am going to bring... Are you guys firing a lot? Okay, they're out of ammo or what? Then go in for the charge. <coughs> We've done well everywhere except on this flank. This hasn't been a success. Still some hard fighting going on here. Uh, what's the artillery doing there? Actually, get back here. Back in line. Need more troops over on this side now. Actually, just run you over. We're being pressed here, and they might actually... Oh, 
without a ammo or something. What's he doing? He could have broken me here. Then we do cavalry charges all over the place. Call in the cavalry. Or not cavalry charges, but melee charges. Also we have our general general here. We could use him if so is needed. Let's surround them completely. Take them out. I don't want these regiments to escape. These are really good. Three chevrons, four even. So let's uh, kill them. Let's kill them off completely. Uh, anything more? Okay, yeah. I uh, think that was the battle inside. Uh, no, I'm going to continue chasing down, but I'm going to uh, pause the video so you don't have to see that. But I'm going to continue chasing, chasing them down here. Yeah, and these are the battle results. Uh, um, they lost 3,000 men more, 3,400, uh, so um, they have 1,500 still left inside Kiev. Um, yeah, we lost 1,100, so yeah, I'll, we actually lost a lot. We're still equal there, so I might want to send reinforcements ASAP. Military alliance with those, I'm not even going to read it. Yeah, the Russians have guerrilla units all over my territory now. It's kind of irritating, but uh, also realistic and fun. Uh, no? Building sabotage in Bryansk. The Russians have another spy. Ra Ramund Haugen, gentleman in Denmark. We have a lot of gentlemen. We have a lot of gentlemen around. Yeah. How's I can't see in there. Wish I had a spy to accompany my armies. Trade gained bloody. Carl Gustav Reinschild became bloody. Courageous leader plus three morale. So he has plus two morale after that battle. The battle of the church ruin or of Kiev or whatever I'm going to call it. Yeah, that was fun. How's about... Uh, oh god. Now he's there, he could attack the town even. Am I going to catch that guy ever? I'm going to recruit another cavalry unit. To catch that guy. Alexander Bichkov. He's been causing a lot of trouble in these areas. I really like that. Guerrilla war. And here we have another one. Antonik Ofonasev. Of Ofonasev. Okay. Antonin. And did I even replenish these? No, I didn't. Need to send more troops out to Kiev, I think. He doesn't need. He needs artillery, but that's going to take a while to get there. Um, we're going to keep them under siege still before I can get some uh, reinforcements there. Sorry. Uh, ooh, ooh, these guys. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Heavy cavalry. You're all going to the front, aren't you? What do you need here? Visa. General Visa. He needs cavalry. Badly. Okay, cavalry. All the cavalry here. And uh, the grenadiers, I want to try them out. 
And yeah. Let's just get them over to Riga. And my timer is of course blinking. It was a fun episode. We had a great battle there. Uh, okay, I'm going to end it here. Our 30 minutes are at an end. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time and cheers.